when you um, when when you guys went to a three four, obviously Ted took Clay and BJ because they right. fit. You were talking before about how there's a four two five lead. So does the defensive coordinator change have some little no influence and in maybe how you're going to go about now thinking about defensive play? Yeah, it'll have some, but I don't think it's not going to be like a wholesale change. Hey, we got to you know we got to ship off and bring a bunch of new guys in. I mean, it's not going to be like that. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think as we get into the nuances of what, you know, Jeff wants to do, um, certainly um, it may, you know, with our, with our current players may, you know, be conversations about where they play and, and uh, how they fit. But, um, you know, I think one thing I, you know, I think we prided ourselves here uh, on both sides of the ball is versatility and bringing in guys that can be versatile. Um, and I think with our front, particularly on defense, like like we've got a lot of versatile guys that can do a lot of things. We've got a lot of edge guys that could probably move inside and, and do some things, pass rush inside. Um, you know, certainly Clay or Quay is a fantastic versatile piece. Um, so, you know, again, I, I think we'll get into that over the next few weeks and kind of see where that lands. But I wouldn't expect a lot to, you know, again that that influence will have an effect. But I just don't know how much we'll see.